for this video, guys, I want to show you the stuff I got when I went to see Weird Al in concert back in June. I got this bobblehead. Got these train cards. Here's the brochure for where I saw him at the American Music Theater. And I also got this card advertising for Weird Al's guitarist, Jim Kimo West, Hawaiian select key guitarist and composer. This guy, along with John Romeo Schwartz, the drummer, Roman Valtierra, the keyboard player, and Steve J, the bass player, these guys are absolutely fantastic. They're that talented. All right. But enough of that, let's move on to the souvenirs. So right here we have a bobblehead of Weird Al from the Royal Bobbles. It's a limited edition bobblehead. There's Weird Al. On this side we have an actual picture of Weird Al. And it says, Dare to be stupid. It's a quote from Al Yankovic. And on the back, it has a name right there. Couple pictures of him. This one's from the cover of his Alpocalypse album. It says, Did you know when Al writes a song like White Nerdy, it comes from a lifetime of personal experience? Young Alfred Yankovic graduated as valedictorian of his high school class at age 16. So the man is smarter than you think. And there he is from a promotional still from White and Nerdy. And here's a very long bio, but I'm not going to read it, because I don't have time to do that. But if you want to read it, I will slowly scroll down. Now let's get this royal bobble, bobblehead, out of the packaging. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Weird Al's bobblehead. It's funny, um, <clears throat> upon further inspection with the packaging, the figure, the bobblehead figure, looks a hell of a lot better than the picture. Skin color is different, and the face looks a lot more detailed. This is one of those times where what you have in hand is actually what's better than what's advertised on the packaging. TV doesn't happen too often with toys nowadays. But yes, here is the bubble head and the bubble see. Do, 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 do. And speaking of detail, they did a really nice detail job on the hair. It's all wavy. And here's his face. And that is Weird Al. Like he's waving hi, he has his microphone, Hawaiian shirt, his pants, his checkered shoes, and he's on a red platform base. And here's a QR code, and here's the website if you want to check out this company that made it. And I am very happy with this purchase. If you want me to do a comparison between figures, I actually have the neck of Weird Al. So you can see how much tall the bobblehead is than the neck of figure, which is like five inches tall. And now on to the trading cards, which come in this nice clear plastic box. And it says official Al trading cards. Official Weird Al merchandise. Oh, 
Now, normally I don't buy a lot of trading cards unless it's WWE trading cards, but these are pretty cool. I'm glad I got them. So I thank you guys for watching me review my Weird Al merchandise souvenirs from when I went to his concert. See you next time.